Hello, this is a video that's intended for a couple members of my family, but uh, if anyone else finds it, I'm okay with them watching it too. Um, basically, I am showing how to use an Arduino with an IR sensor, um, one that has both an emitter and a sensor on it uh, that can be used to detect different colors. So, first off, this is the IR sensor, and you can see if it comes into focus here, which it won't, there we are. Um, that there's an E and an S on each uh, on the two different sides. The E stands for emitter and the S stands for sensor. So the emitter is just a standard LED and the sensor is just like any other sensor you'd use on the Arduino. Um, you can actually tell which one's which if you have a camera like I have because the emitter side will be, as you can see, uh, having some light in there but of course you cannot see that with the naked eye. You can only see that through a camera lens. Um, the circuit is really simple and I'll link to that. Uh, it only requires uh, four resistors, one capacitor, two LEDs, uh, an Arduino, and some jumper wire, and then of course the sensor itself. Um, basically you hook the emitter up just like you would any other LED with a uh, resistor in series with it, and you hook the sensor up as a voltage divider with another resistor, uh, a pull-up resistor, and then a capacitor to ground um, to, to smooth out uh, any readings you get and then some LEDs hooked up to output pins um, that'll signify various uh, color strengths, we'll call them. So, how this works is um, I have two LEDs. I have a green and a red one here. And uh, the green one will be the first to light up. It'll light up at lower color values. Uh, and the red one will light up at higher ones. And none will, will light up if the color value is low enough. So by low, that actually means white, and darker values are higher. So if I put it on this white piece of paper here, you can see that both uh, LEDs go out. As I move it off, say onto the breadboard, you see that the, the green one lights up and the red one starts to, depending on uh, where I'm holding the sensor. If I move it all the way over to my laptop, see it in the way here, there we are. We can see that both LEDs are now lighting up because it's on my black laptop. Um, the details for this circuit and the uh, sketch that I'm using, uh, the software that's running it, I'll post along with this video. And if you have any questions, uh, you can contact me and I can help you set it up.